lads, what's going on, Gonfia? And today I'm going to bring you quite an exciting video. Um, a tiny bit different to my normal videos. I mean, it's going to be the usual squad builder style, but this time I've put a little bit more effort into it. And I'm going to go into depth on each different player. I'm going to put an annotation on the screen where you can click and go and see the goal they've scored. So, as you see from the title, the team is going to be goals. Uh, I've put an actual team together from players who have scored amazing goals. Like, I've, I've put like a lot of the Poplar wins in that all of you will probably remember as well. So... Bear with me if there's a few goals that, you know, from players that should you, you might think should have been in the team, but I've included someone else. More because he's more popular than that player and more people can relate to the goal and a lot more people probably watch that goal live. So I thought it'd be entertaining. So massive thanks to this guy you're seeing on the screen now for suggesting this guy. It was a brilliant idea and I knew I had to do it straight away and I just got busy. And I've been pretty excited. So in goal to start us off with, we're going to use, I think it's Tim Howard. And obviously, lads, as usual, if you want to build squads just like I'm doing, make sure to check out FIFA Coin Trader. They look up in the description to hook you up with coins. But um, we're, we're starting off with Tim Howard, man. We all remember that goal. Well, not all of us. A lot of us all remember that goal when he scored from his own box against, I think it was Adam Bogdan when he lobbed, the key. He lobbed him. For, it's 100 yards he scored. So that is absolutely crazy. If you actually click on the screen right now on this card, you, it will take you to an, uh, a link of where, like, on YouTube, his goal. So, each player I'm putting in, make sure to click on the screen on the on the actual card. And it will take you to the player, to the goal. To see the goal that I'm on about. So, we'll start off with Tim Howard. Set it back then. We're going to be using Mexes. Now, everyone better remember this goal. Because it was absolutely fucking insane. The bicycle kick he scored. Make sure to click the screen and go and check it out. It is an amazing goal if you haven't seen it. I don't even know how... how he, I didn't even know he had Maxis had that in his locker. And out of nowhere, he just pulls off one of the greatest bicycle kicks I've ever seen. Uh, however, centre back then is going to be David Luiz. Now, I know I could have used Matthew Loughton. And I know I could have probably used Campanero and Figueroa. And all these other centre backs who, uh, like Aga who have scored amazing goals. But um, I use David Luiz because the majority of you probably have seen this goal. I mean, it's absolutely... I think it takes unbelievable technique to do what he's done against Basel. When he just hit it first time and the keeper didn't even move. It's just an amazing goal. But David Luiz has been scoring screamers left, right and centre lately as well. So I thought, good idea to put him in. And left back then we're going to be using John Anarisa. Now, his Liverpool days, he was scoring absolute crazy goals. I'm not sure what goal I'm actually going to put in. I might put his one against Chelsea when he ran from like his own box to score. Or I might put a few of the screamers that he scored against Man United in. I'm not sure, but make sure to click the screen now and it'll take you to one of the goals to see it. But uh, this guy has had absolutely screamers in his uh, in his pass for Liverpool. Right back then, it's going to be my gone. If I, oh my god. I, have, I hope you've seen this goal. It, it, it did happen three years ago now in the World Cup against North Korea. The technique for this goal is one of the greatest things I've seen in football in a long time. Basically, make sure to go and click this, click on, on his card on the screen right now and you will see the goal. It is absolutely unbelievable. He's like running... And he just, I don't even I didn't even know it was possible to do what he did. The keeper gets beat in a dream as well. It's just an amazing goal. So I'm not gonna have to go in there for the technique of that goal is just unbelievable. CDM then we get we was only ever gonna use one player with me lads. It's Stevie G, lovely cushioned header for Jared. Oh yeah, beauty. I mean you you've got to be Andy Gray to say it like because I'm not even gonna try and attempt that commentary voice. But Andy Gray was a legend. We all remember that goal he scored as well. And we remember the goal he scored against Middlesbrough when he just pinged it from miles out. The goal he scored against West Ham in the, I think it was the Carling Cup or the FA Cup final. Oh, Gerard has scored so many goals for Liverpool in the past. He just scores screamers upon screamers. Make sure to click on the screen to see what goal I've actually picked for him. Uh, left mid then we're going to be using... T -t -t Thierry Henry. There's only one goal that I'm putting in. I, obviously, Thierry Henry has scored hundreds of goals for Arsenal and... Even goals for Real Madrid and uh, bloody Red Bulls and all that stuff. But a goal against Man United. Oh, it goes down in history. It goes down in history. I love it. Every time I watch it, it gives me goosebumps. When the ball rolls to him, he leans on. I think, I think it's like Roy Keane or someone, whoever he leans on. And he just turns on the volume. Bang. Lobs. Who, who was in goal at the time? It might have even been Bates. Lobs him an absolute dream. He's one of the greatest goals of all time, in my opinion. Click on the screen to go and check it out now. And just Omri, what a legend for Arsenal as well. Right mid then, Ben Arthur. I asked you lot on Twitter and you lot were fucking... This this goal come up so much. The one against bottom when he runs from his own half. Skins the whole team. And then puts it in bottom corner. Make sure to click the screen, obviously, to go and check that out. Great, great goal from him. Then, the most memorable goal. If you're a football fan and you don't know what, goals, what goal Beckham scored and what goal that you're, I'm going to put on the screen for you, you are absolutely... 
unbelievable. I mean, the reason I haven't been able to obviously put the clip in myself on each of the players is because it would have been co copyrighted. So instead, I've done it so you can click the screen and go and see the goal individually, maybe press pause on this video. But it's from the halfway line. It is absolutely... It's, it's one of the most memorable goals in football history and will still forever remain that. It is an unbelievable goal. And the one he scored against Greece as well is amazing. But Beckham, for that halfway line lob, goes down in history and definitely had to be in this team. Then we've got Rooney. I'm not sure because I loved the one he scored against Newcastle when he hit it like... It's just such two good goals. The one he scored against Newcastle when he caught, caught it on the half volley. The one he scored against Arsenal for, for Everton. And obviously the one against Man City, which is just absolutely magic. I've never seen... Well, I have actually seen something like it, but... It was just something out of... I mean, it was just unbelievable. Whoever thought Rooney... Big, like, the lump, the ch big, chunky, lumpy Rooney would be able to get up his, his body up that high and do that. So, hats off to him. What a goal. And then, to sum up the team, it's obviously going to be Ibrahimovic for that goal against England. That, that's going down for top 10 best goals of all time. It is absolutely the technique it took. How he did it. How he how he done his body in the air like that is just absolutely sensational. And he scored an absolutely amazing goal again for Ajax as well back in his older days when he's he keeps dummy in the whole team. He skins the whole team in the box and scores. So I obviously will put the win against England, but this guy got two unbelievable goals I could have chose from. But that is the team, lads. And uh, obviously, if you lot have been pressing pause on this video and then clicking, you would have seen like I've put a lot of effort to go and find each goal and then put an an annotation on for each different player. So I hope you've enjoyed the style that I've done this video. If you have... One like from you, a thumbs up from you will be absolutely amazing. But I'm going to jump into a live game now. We know play with these on CLA play, so I'll be right back. We have our first game, and he has got a pretty shitty out of formation. I don't even know what to... What the... I can't even speak. What the fuck? It's a Bundy's League team. There we go. Wow. Next oh My God. Oh my lord! Oh my fucking lord! Max says he's just tried to repeat history with another screamer. Oh my god, imagine I just went in. Oh my fucking god. Ben Arthur! Ben Arthur! Ben Arthur! Ben Arthur's looking to run the pitch again! Oh no, he's not a flathead. Ibra! Oh! Oh! Ibra! 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 He's even scoring good goals. Even scoring good goals for me. Guy is a fucking legend. Love him. Hey, bro. Hey, my bitch. Whoa. Fuck you, bad Stuba. Just done a front flip off my keeper. It's a decent half. It's a decent half. 1-1. One, one. Hey, bro, with a big goal. Looking to fuck this guy up next half. It's dropped to Steven Gerrard. It's dropped to Gerard. Gerard struck it. Oh, get out the fucking way, mate. Gerard wants another screamer. Ibra. Oh, my God. Ibra's just trying to bicycle out on the edge of the box. Woo. I've been lobbed. I've been lobbed. It's a, it's a nice goal. I, I've, I've been lobbed. Fuck's sake. No way. Oh, we just lost 4-1 to this guy. He's absolute garbage. So, there's a full-time whistle. And somehow... Somehow, I just lost 4-1. That guy was shit. Anyway, lads, obviously, if you have enjoyed, it would be amazing if you could leave a thumbs up. The beginning part of the video, I hope you enjoyed how I did it with the annotations and the fact you could go and see the goal. So if you did enjoy and appreciate that, it would be amazing to leave a thumbs up and a comment, of course, as usual, to try and win yourself 50k. But I'll speak to you next time, lads. Peace.